Today I'm going to demonstrate some of the Onyx demos running on a Silicon Graphics Octane 2. This particular machine is equipped with two R14K CPUs running at 600 megahertz. It has two gigabytes of system memory installed and it also has a B12 graphics card. I'm quickly going to go into the system manager just to show you the overview of the system. Okay, so there we go. 2 gigabytes of RAM, it's got two 600 megahertz MIPS R14000s. And the graphics board is the Odyssey B12 graphics with the 128 megabytes of RAM. Okay, now that that's done, let's get on to the demos. I'm going to start off by showing you the Boombox demo. going to make the window a little bit larger for you. And the Octane 2 is able to shunt this model around rather easily. The interesting thing with this model is if you zoom in and you go inside the model, you can actually see all the mechanics built in. So they've actually built up the circuit boards as well as the mechanics of the cassette player or the boom box. So it's a pretty cool model and it's handled rather easily by the Octane 2. Next up I'm going to demonstrate Bump Logo to you. Let's see how it runs on this machine. It doesn't run quite as smoothly as it does on the Tezra, but it still runs reasonably well. Let's wait until the light comes around to the side. That is pretty cool. Next I'm going to demonstrate space to your face to you. Let's see how this runs. The trick here is not to let it zoom in too quickly. just to get it to the position I want it in. Okay, and there we go. It's on its way to finding the Nintendo 64 sitting in the Alps. The interesting thing about this demo is it was definitely some of the forerunner software to what we now know as Google Earth. And you'll see that now. Let's see if I can slow it down a bit. So the landscape has now become 3D. Let's zoom in. Should take us to the, the Nintendo 64 sitting on the ground. Okay, it doesn't quite find it. There we go. Gonna zoom around it quickly, and this is a rather good model. As you can see, the Octane 2 handles this pretty well. 
and there we go. Shows the fact that the chip inside the Nintendo 64 is in fact a MIPS chip. Next up I'm going to demonstrate Laguna to you. Let's see how this runs. I'm going to get it started. When the demo starts the wings are extended and the landing gear is also extended. So I'm going to retract the gear and I'm going to sweep the wings back. And next I'm going to enable the heads up display. and then set maximum thrust and extend the gear again and extend the wings this is another pretty cool Onyx demo running very comfortably on the Octane 2 Next up, I'm going to demonstrate distortion to you. And this also runs pretty well on the Octane too. So from this you can see that the Octane 2, especially the variant equipped with the dual R14K 600 mega chips is a pretty powerful machine as it's able to rather comfortably run the Onyx demos. Ok and that concludes the demonstration shown in this video. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.